In 2016, CAFE asked the question, what is one word you would use to describe a great instructor? Now, five years later, we're asking students the same thing. Are students after the same thing? And has anything changed in light of the pandemic? Let's go take a look. I would describe a great instructor as thorough. Thorough. Connect with the students, I think. Relatable. Personable. Communicator. Fair. I would say caring. Caring. Inspired. Very helpful. I think this great instructor um, has patience. I would describe them as confident. Um, not just in the subject they're teaching, but they have confidence in you as well. They answer emails uh, relatively quickly, just stuff like that to help the student out. A lot of the stuff that's taught in class, um, it's, it's not related a lot to what's actually there in the industry. So that, that'll only work if the professor understands what the student needs out of the course. Yeah, because if students don't know what the expectations are, then I feel like it's a lot harder for us and we're not as motivated to do something or go the extra mile when we don't know what you want in the first place. I think good professors uh, can answer questions in class. They, they try to pay attention to what the student is struggling with. And just having a professor that sees you as a person and not just like looks down on you as like you're stupid or something. Because if you're patient with me, you know, I'm going to be more adept to go out and learn more about it and understand it better in the future. Can you tell me what do you, what's the prize quality you look for in an instructor who helps you learn the most? I would say um, just genuine interest in a student's actual retention of knowledge, um, not just how they perform on the test, but uh, are they actually understanding what's being conveyed, um, and taking time maybe outside of class as well to ensure that. I would say active engagement in like the learning process and making sure that students understand it and sort of that like uh, personal connection uh, and like that understanding of how each student learns best and um, tailoring uh, teaching style to match uh, those different uh, learning uh, methods. Uh, but also being versatile and very much like the pandemic, you know, we had to be versatile and be able to adapt to the new type of, new style of uh, teaching which was online. And so that was a challenge I think for many professors and definitely sh showed the ones that are very versatile and you know, very good. Actually, I find professors who make the homework harder than the tests. Um, I learned way more in those classes um, because it's less like just cramming a bunch of knowledge and then spewing it out on a test for 50 minutes and then forgetting it. Uh, and the homeworks actually I think are what really uh, help students retain um, what is learned. I think the best professors I've had have just taught the material in a way that helps me not just understand it but really genuinely care about the material. I think you can tell roughly speaking I think it takes some time to get a real understanding of how knowledgeable they are about subject, but you can on, honestly tell instantly if they're passionate and if they care about the instruction. Normally they're excited. You can tell that they're, they bring a little bit of an energy to a room. They make you want to feel, they make you feel as though you want to show up to class, which is a really important trait. And they can just tell how they, how they talk to other faculty members, how they talk to students in and outside the classroom, and whether or not they really want to be there. Yeah, so um, I think I really look for approachability, so really someone that I, I don't feel shy going to um, their office hours or anything like that. And then also like um, them being able to relate the material to um, the real world because I think that's what's most important is just having, learn, not only learning the material but knowing how it applies. My best professors have taken our commentary in stride and really tried to change what they've been doing to help us the most. Um, those are also the classes I do the best in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one thing, I've had a teacher this semester that makes, uh, th th she had the syllabus um, be up to us, and so she had some things that she wanted to be done, but then she left the, the rest of it sort of open to discussion. Um, and so we had a lot of input in what we were going to be doing, because that it, it makes a difference rather than just an instructor saying, all right, this is your testing score, this is the final, like this is what's what. Um, and so having the students give input. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is um, actively asking questions to the class, and you know, you can, they can really gauge if someone or the whole class understands a certain topic being taught or not, and they can really kind of go through it and explain things further. One of my instructors who I have right now, uh, all of our assignments that we submit, she leaves somewhat personalized comments on all of our assignments, 
and she always makes sure that we know the material and she makes sure that we that we understand that she's there for us yeah. and you can tell in the little things that she does like um, sometimes how her course is structured or uh, the way she always gives us reminders about our assignments when they're due how to effectively study just little things like that that on their own are helpful but when they all add up it really makes for it, you can really tell that they that they care about us and about making sure that we learn what we need to learn um, actually, just in specific, in the past few days, uh, my history professor, Professor Ahmed, uh, reached out to me with an email I kind of had a little bit of trouble with uh, my absences and just like kind of welcomed me back to class and even just that was kind of the step that I needed to get back on top of my schoolwork. Um, I definitely feel like very, um, like I understand the material in, in those classes and um, a lot of times the way that they structured the lecture is they'll do the, like the theory first and then they'll start off with like the more simple examples and then kind of work their way up. Different students learn in different ways and I know personally I've had some professors that teach in a way that really helps me to understand and some that don't. So I've had one math professor that I really genuinely enjoyed because there was a lot because he taught with PowerPoints and with example problems. Okay. And there was a lot of useful information in the PowerPoints, like equations and whatnot, but then those example problems helped me to piece together what was on the board and what I needed for the homework and for the exams. Um, I would say like uh, sort of multimodal learning where like you maybe have like a PowerPoint presentation for more visual learners um, with maybe more hands-on practical exercises, um, written uh, learning assignments, that sort of thing.